Welcome to our video devotional today, Monday, November the 18th, 2019. And during this week, we're going to be looking at Psalm 46. At least Psalm 4610 is a very, very familiar scripture for most people. And even the first verse probably is. So let's read the first few verses here and, and discuss some of the, uh, the strength that we can gather from the Word of God today. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in the time of trouble. Therefore, we will not fear, though the earth be removed, though the mountains be carried into the midst of the sea, though its waters roar and be troubled, though the mountains shake with its swelling. Selah. The psalmist is speaking of the presence of God during the occasions of life that we face circumstances that create instability or insecurity in our life. Something happens in, in this overwhelming sense of, of insecurity or instability hits us. Now, some report that this is happening every day in their life. And I pray today that the Holy Spirit will, will help each of us recognize that our help is in the Lord, not in our knowledge, not in, well, we passed this test and this test and this test and we've accumulated experience and so we know how to fight against certain storms. No, our help is in the Lord. Fear may surround us because of multiples of changing circumstances. In fact, our anxiety may increase because of repeating circumstances, situations that keep repeating themselves in our life. Anxiety may grip our soul as life swirls all around us. But the psalmist declares, we will not fear when great tragedies happen. Tragedies like the explosions of nature crash around us. We will not fear. I mean, did you catch what he said? The Though the earth be removed, though the mountains be uh, carried into the midst of the sea and the waters roar and be troubled, the mountains shake. If all of earth's natural resources begin to crumble around us, we will not fear. Well, how can we have this kind of trust in God? How can we have this kind of trust in the Almighty God? We can have this trust because the power and ability to face life's adversities and uncertainties are found in God. He is, the psalmist says, a refuge. God is our refuge. Now, what do you picture when you hear that word, refuge? Do you see a storm and you're hiding in a shelter that protects you from that storm? The wind's not coming through little crevices and rain's not dripping in on you or snow blowing through, the dry snow blowing through the cracks? Do you see yourself protected from chaos and a sanctuary that protects you from all danger. Our security in the storms of life, whatever the arena the storm presents itself in, whether that's physical, mental, financial, social, spiritual, interpersonal relations, our security, our strength is in our God. I guess the picture I catch is, you know, a lot of kids uh, they, they had this, what we used to call a security blanket. They, they took it everywhere. They slept with it. They had it in the car. They had it in the house and they scattered it all over. And, and you know, after 150 washings, the thing was raveling at all the ends. But they still wanted that blanket. Because there was something about that blanket <clears throat> that gave them security. God is our blanket, our refuge, our strength, a very present help in the time of trouble. So let's look at that word strength for a moment because I think it's really important to hear what that means. He's our refuge, but God is also our strength. God's strength refers to his might and his power against all of our foes. Our foes have no chance against the power of God. We should rest in the security that God is all powerful. But his strength is also the power of God that works in us mightily. In Colossians 1.29, it says, The power of God working in us mightily, the mighty power of God, enables us personally to overcome obstacles in our life. Obstacles that have beset us, obstacles that keep repeating themselves, but that strength of God in us, our refuge and our strength. We, the result of all this is that we see that God is a very present help in the time of our trouble. All may be shaking around us, even our government failing our church closing, death in our family, loss of a job. God is a very present help 
in the time of trouble. We can call on him anytime and he will help us. His grace is sufficient for each of us. When we are bombarded by storms in life, we must anchor our thoughts and heart in scriptures like this one in Psalm 46. We need to remind ourselves in the face of life's obstacles that God is enough for all we need. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in time of trouble. Let's pray. Lord, today, we seem to, to see our troubles bigger than they are. And yes, sometimes mentally and emotionally, they're so overwhelming. And so we keep thinking on them and they keep getting bigger. And so today, by the grace of Almighty God and the power of the Holy Spirit, us, Lord, we look to, to see our God, a refuge and strength when these troubles surround us. Thank you. Thank you for being our help. <laughs> Thank you for being our God mighty to save. We praise you today and we fix our gaze on you. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, let's look to Jesus today. Let's look to our King. He's strong in battle and he's a hiding place. God bless you and have a great day.